All right, so let's go ahead now and just build out the uh, the peeling effect, really the, the part that uh, brings this all together. So one thing I did here in uh, th this selection pane is I named each of these, right? Arrow, outline, and shadow. I'm going to turn the shadow off, so I'm gonna work with that one uh, at the end. And I'm also going to bring up my menu bar just to give me a little bit more room here. And I'll just bring that over. All right, so right click, we'll work with the arrow part first. Right click the arrow, actually a couple things here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose grid and guides. Uh, the grid I don't really care about, but I do want the, uh, the drawing guides because I wanna be able to quickly keep this line, this edge of the arrow um, aligned with this line. So when I move this up, I'm gonna use this as a guide here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and let's go ahead and just edit these points. So edit points, right click, and I'll bring out just a little bit. So I'll bring these up. And again, this is all sort of by, you know, by your eyes, whatever you think is gonna be enough. Um, the higher you bring it, obviously, the more of the effect it's going to have. So pretty good on the first one, surprisingly. Select this top point, and you see the little handle in here? Just wanna drag that in a little. Not too much, but just enough to modify it. And then for this one down here, I want it to kind of kind of bow out a little. All right. Essentially, that's it. If you wanted to modify some of this over here, you could take these. I, I kind of play with this a couple different ways. You could bring these in a little too. Just depends on how complicated, how much you want to do with it. So where is that other one? Oh, I see there's two of them. So I'm going to delete this one. Delete that again. There we go. So somehow there were some extra points there. We'll leave it like that. Pretty good. Let's go ahead now and just modify the, um, the, uh, the white outline. So just right click it, choose edit points. And I'm going to drag my guides over here actually to this one. So edit points again. And this one's going to be a little tougher just because it has some extra control points on it. So I'll bring those up. And again, this is the part where, like, where it gets a little bit tedious in terms of modifying it, but it's not too bad. It just takes a little time. Actually surprisingly good right there. And again, I'm just going to bring these in. So it kind of mimics the shape below. And again, the more time you spend with it, the more uh, accurate you'll get it. Bring those down. And I might want to bring this in just a little bit just for that effect. And since I did modify this up here, I'm gonna delete some of these points though. There's a few extra points. So whatever you do to one, right? Whatever we do to the actual arrow, we do to the um, outline. I don't know if I modified that one. I guess it's good enough. All right, pretty good first try. Um, again, you could continue modifying a little bit. I think if I look at this, I might want to bring that in a little bit tighter. Same thing with this one. Looks better there. For the most part, that's it. A little bit more tweaking and we'd get it. Let's go ahead and bring open the shadow. And since I did move this, I'll probably have to move that shadow over. And all you're going to do with the shadow is the same thing, right? So shadow doesn't look too bad on this end. Uh, depends on what, that, what you're going for, how far up you want it. And I'll right click it right here, choose edit points. And I'm going to bring this one really down. Now, you can get kind of sloppy with this. You don't have to worry about it because you're not really looking at it from behind. You're just seeing it, whatever's sticking out here. So don't worry about how it looks inside or behind the arrow and graphics. And just like that. I think that kind of, as it tapers down, it looks pretty good like that. Actually, surprisingly good. If I wanted to tweak it, I could probably add a little bit more of a, uh, a curl, right? Comes up a little bit more. Maybe bring that down. And looks good. So add a little bit of transparency to it, right? Just right click, choose format shape. I don't know, bring the transparency up a little. And there you go. There's your peeling graphic. Add uh, some different colors to it, make some modifications, group them. And uh, you have your uh, shape here. There you go. Hope you enjoy it.